Lift up your hands. Say Holy Spirit. Say Holy Spirit. I am open to receive. Father, I glorify your name. Jesus, you are Lord over my life. I exalt you. God the Holy Spirit, I celebrate you in this place. I honor you. I adore you. God the Holy Ghost, you are the greatest teacher. I am open to receive your instructions. I am open to be taught the ways of the Spirit. Thank you, Father, for the teaching ministry of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Give the Holy Ghost a big welcome clap. Tap your neighbor, say knowledge. Tap three people around you, say knowledge. Do anything for knowledge. Anything for knowledge. The easiest way to grow in the Lord is to be committed to knowledge. Buy books, buy tips, and give quality time to reading those books and listening to those tips. People think to grow in the Lord is to go to a mountain where there are mosquitoes and go and suffer there for a few days. You don't need those things. What you need is a decision to be a reader. To be an investor into your spiritual development. Let's turn to Proverbs chapter 6. Sorry, chapter 4. You can work your own miracles very easy. My marriage is working. Beautiful marriage, wonderful three kids. Highly successful ministry. No part of my life is not working. Not because I am a prayer giant. Do I pray a lot too. But knowledge has made the difference. When I see people who are suffering, I am disturbed. Because your suffering is absolutely unnecessary. Itinerant ministers we are known to beg pastors for pulpit. But we are changing all that without effort and stress. There is no pastor, none, no matter the part of the world he lives, that can hold me hostage. That is what knowledge has made out of me. I said no one, not one, living. When you are a captive of ignorance, men can push you around. You can, you can tell any ignorant man a lie. Do you know traffic warding? You know traffic warding? The one that wear yellow. The one that wear yellow can arrest you if you are ignorant <laughs> and jack your trouser. Meanwhile, by law, it's just one of those fellows making sure traffic moves. <laughs> when you are ignorant, anything can happen. Look at Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. It says, wisdom is the principal thing. Can you see that? Tap your number, say knowledge. knowledge. You, you didn't say it, but say knowledge. knowledge. You get the angel called money, and you sit down and read it. Where will poverty locate you? Can't locate you. What disturbs me about the Christianity in the third world is that it's, 
if I came here, there is no anointing that is not a product of knowledge. So, if I came here and I began to do some, some commotion, everybody stand, you stand, I stretch forth my hands so that you break two chairs because you fell under the power. That is the cheapest anointing to activate. Very cheap. The cheapest. Ask any person that knows about anointing. That is the cheapest to activate. To break chair. Very easy anointing. You can use that to teach Bible school students. But after you have broken chair and your waist is broken in the process, you came with complete body and you went with that. <laughs> you say power moved. But at the end of the day, it could be an emotional display that you would have handled more differently. Is there anything wrong with following under the power? No. When knowledge packages it, you get off of the ground where you fell to, to another level. Because in falling under knowledge, the knowledge in you is activated. Black man doesn't like knowledge. The man has power. The man has power. Then under that commotion of ignorance, commercialization starts. Tap your number by the shoulder. Say knowledge. You didn't say that. They say knowledge. I say by the shoulder. I say knowledge. You didn't say that. They say knowledge. He say wisdom is what. The principal thing, number one thing, to grow in the Lord, to mature in the things of the Spirit. He said wisdom is the principal thing. It's the number one thing. Look at what he says. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Uh, Pastor Nobet, you must have seen in my fridge some cola nut. Didn't you see some cola nut? I eat it in the night so that I can stay awake to read. They know me. My boys know me. They go and chatter it from the outside man that said Guru. Since I came, I've read nine books now. Yesterday, eight. I've read nine since I came. So once we close here now, I finish eating. That's why I quickly say, uh, Pastor Nobel, see you tomorrow. I get my cola note to open my eyes for dynamic living. <laughs> I eat cola note. I buy cola note to stay awake, to read. The crowd outside has been more than the crowd inside three times. Which cripple did I ask to walk here? Have I been performing? Say cripple now, cripple, cripple, cripple. <laughs> but mental will, mental clutches are dropping. I didn't hear a big amen. amen. Mental blindness living. But some have thought it is. Abracadabra that gathers people and they've, they've even vacillated secretly to go and acquire power. Yet knowledge is the power. Since we came, we have been fasting till what time? 12 o'clock. Is that not easy enough? <laughs> By the time it is the 8, 8 p.m., won't you be confused? <laughs> you see, this thing is a natural life. It's a natural life. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. You may die, oh. It's, a, it's, a, it's an easy life. I don't tell lies. I live a clean life. There's no need for it. I've so conquered myself that myself no more exists. Paul said, I bring my body, including my tongue, under subjection. Knowledge. Tell your neighbor, say knowledge. knowledge. You didn't say that. Say knowledge. knowledge. Even the Pope is not perfect. Hope you know. Pope is not perfect. The bishop of your church is not perfect. 
Do you know what you call his perfection? Do you know his perfection? He has been able to manage his inabilities. He has been able to manage his weaknesses. So knowledge gives you the understanding to manage your limitation. Though it is still there, but it's under your control. That is the man that looks like a giant holy man. <laughs> the man's sin is still there, but it's under control. <laughs> who, is a, who is a sinning Christian? No control. Anything can happen. Type number saying knowledge. knowledge. You didn't say it very say knowledge. knowledge. Go get books. The books are outside. Get them. I, I told my guys. The more we have we have uh, succeeded so much in ministry, even before we wrote books, though the books were written, they were not yet published. Our ministry has a printing press. We have our own printing press that publish all those books that you see. The calendar that you see. Our own. It's our own. I brought the, 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 the machines from Germany. How many churches have printing press? Knowledge. There is nothing our ministry don't have. DV cam cameras. Just have them like that. Go ask how much is DV cam camera. Not VHS. The picture is doing like this. You say stand where? Stand where? Recording on. <laughs> Why do you have VHS? I'm an itinerant minister. <laughs> he said, My people are destroyed, not because new demons have left hell. My people are destroyed. They come to church, they are in the choir, they are even on the pulpit as preachers. As ushers, he said, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. I enter any place, I'm looking for books to buy with my last change. Jesus will say, Let those who have here, let them hear. Because many people go around with the symbol of this thing that they call ear, but they don't hear anything. After this program, if you are not a reader, you didn't attend this program, you just came to see cinema. I may not come to Abakeleke again till Jesus comes, but there is something I want to leave with you. Knowledge. Ten years from now, you look back. You say there was a prophet that challenged me. Look at my life today. No matter how young you are, if you grab this thing, you'll be sending the devil to go and buy a car. I mean devil will go and buy a car and bring for you. And you just eat it and give him the leaf to go and throw away. No, he say knowledge. He say wisdom is the principal thing. Listen to me. Jesus cast away demons from a man, but the man began to go up and down. Hey, Jesus cast demons from me. Oh, Jesus cast away demons from me. I used to carry three billion demons. Oh, Jesus carried away demons from me. Oh, until demons came back and catch him. <laughs> he wasn't reading. He wasn't listening to tape. There is the excitement of religion. Be careful of it. There is the excitement of churchianity without substance. The Bible says the demons came and checked and saw that the man was empty. Go and read your Bible. He was empty, not in inside. My pastor say, my pastor say, my pastor say, demons say, yeah, this man. The pastor will say to him now through us. Do you know what I discovered when God called me to teach prosperity? So much noise about prosperity. Little is known about prosperity. Very little. Luke chapter 6 verse 38. That is the only thing they know about prosperity. Yet prosperity is the totality of the gospel. Jesus said, I have come that ye might have life. That ye might have it more in abundance. What is prosperity? Teaching the principles of abundant life. In your marriage. In your academics, in your relationship with people, in your time management, in your fin we took it to another dimension. And it's as though we are we are magicians. No knowledge. But we read from others and knew where the problem was. We studied, we listened to their tapes over and over again. We bought their, their materials. I went to a shop in South Africa and I bought books worth over three thousand US dollars when they were doing excess luggage, what they didn't mean to me, 
this is what it will change my life and the life of my generation. All the three thousand dollars, nothing compared to what it has given to me. Pay any price for a book. Pay any price. Look at that book and you ask yourself, will this book take me to another level? Will it make me understand Jesus more? Pay any price for it. Look at that book, the Bible, has changed the history of the world. The book, the Bible. Just one book changed the history of the world. Yet, they would have worked all the miracles, manifested all the powers without dec documentation. Tell me, say knowledge. You didn't say, you say knowledge. The Bible said the demon comes and check. He said, This man is a Olofo for Christian. Yahoo, Yahoo Christian. Who cannot sing? We can all sing. Canary sing. You know Canary? This thing is beyond singing. Bread aloud, bread aloud. It's beyond bread aloud. Settle down. Before you start smelling, when you are not yet dead, like many Africans, somebody beside you may be smelling once I'm talking now. That is how life can wound you if you are ignorant. The demon looks, say, this man is a fool, foolish man. He went to look for seven wicked demons to come and discipline him finally. The Bible says his last state inside the church was worse than before they brought him from Native Daughter's house. <laughs> Satan sat on his head with seven representatives inside the church. <laughs> Satan balanced on his head as Joko. Since this head does not contain anything, it is Joko now. Some people ask me, say, after all these meetings, does the devil attack you? Who born monkey? Let him come now. Chop my life after I finish. Relax my soul. Chop my cola nut and start reading. <laughs> come now. Two of us will be reading together. Say, sister, sister, how do you see this uh, angel called money? What about uh, the, the book, The Prophet? How do you see it? He will be giving me ideas. <laughs> when you jump waiting past you, you go surrender. God said, do you want to match up? He said, come, let us reason together. Can you imagine that? God said, if you, you are not ready to reason, he said, come. I lift you to my own level. All the pastors of the biggest churches around the world, they are men that read. All the pastors of the smallest churches around the world are the confused fellows. Very small church, where two or three are gathered in my name, they are mine in the midst of them. So then they will declare fasting until the church will fast. Everybody will become lean and escape. Seven days fast. 21 days. Three months fast. The church members are asking, what is the matter? They are being passed up by a mental dwarf. The church you attend is important. <laughs> by the time a one tapa is pastoring a professor, the professor has become the chief and one tapa of the village. Tapa number say knowledge. You didn't say it. Verse 8, knowledge. knowledge. Look at verse 8. He said, exhort her. She shall promote thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Exhort knowledge. You know, Buchi, Buchi is a graduate. She, he has a master's. You see, it's kind of reggae. It's different from the reggae of those stubborn and regular boys. Education polishes what you do. Now you go tie a scarf. You look like a scarf yourself. Illiteracy. I don't know what they're The man says that's a read book. That's a read. 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 When you are an illiterate, you become superstitious. Two product of ignorance, fear, and superstition. Two product. He said, Exhort her. <laughs> she shall promote thee. Now, here, she shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her. Can you see that? He said, Embrace her. Since I came, I've been sleeping by six. I finish here now. It's six o'clock. I will sleep. They want to compare me to one fellow that is knocking on door. Shalom, shalom. 
They give him coke. The blowing whistle. Then as he's eating, Junior is looking through the keyhole. He said, Pastor is really very hungry. Look at the way he's carrying, rushing the ebba. <laughs> Junior and his younger sister, they're looking at Pastor. He said, when I grow, I won't be a pastor. To be eating for heart to heart. <laughs> he doesn't know this is a Laru pastor. This is not the genuine one. Bellyistic anointing. That is what you call bellyistic anointing. <laughs> That's how they finish it. They put toothpick. Just hear the Lord. <laughs> Very watery, watery job. The wife is not reading, himself is not reading. They are pastoring a church. And they are calling the woman mama. <laughs> mama of all the pepper sellers. <laughs> no, you hear the word? Mama. <laughs> Once they call her mama, she will change her step. Mama. How old is it? 21 and a half years. It's his mama. Where is the church? One small shop. Three children. And two and a half adults. <laughs> is the bishop international worldwide? How old is the ministry? 28 years. <laughs> All the winch are sat on my ministry. Holy go fire. Winch, you can't destroy my life. Your life is already destroyed 28 years. <laughs> you will never sit down to read. He said, be still and see the salvation of the Lord. Slow down yourself. If I had not been a reader myself, I won't be a writer. It takes heavy reading to be a writer. Somebody told me, how can you release 30 books at once? He said, are you not repeating yourself? Go and buy them and see if it's a repetition. Color your life with other people's information. Color your life. Look at verse 9. Read it to your neighbor. One to go. She shall give to thee, to thy head, an ornament of grace, a crown of glory, shall she deliver to thee. Dash. It will dash you glory. Do you know, when you have knowledge as a woman, there are some men you will not marry. Kokolo, kokolo head. Kiss me, kiss me small. Kiss me small. Mm. That is the only thing he knows. Kiss me small, kiss me small. <laughs> no discussion. You can't discuss with him. So let kiss me small, kiss me small. <laughs> you will leave him. But when your head is also kokolo, kokolo like his head, it's kissing. Come and see that class. Do you still love me? I love you. Yes, love you. Yes, you love me. <laughs> You, will be, you two of you will be using fornication to brush it. <laughs> Nothing now. What, 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 this one doesn't know anything. This one doesn't know anything. The cheapest way to overcome sin is to fill your head with positive information. Sin leaves you alone. There are some books I'm reading. When I receive visitors, I'm even angry. I want to finish that book. Who is this one that is wasting my time? Talk with me finally on knowledge to Psalm. Psalm 119. Say knowledge. knowledge. You didn't say it very well. Say knowledge. knowledge. You didn't say it very well. Say knowledge. knowledge. Somebody was in the same aircraft with Bishop Eripo. He said from here to London, the guy was devouring books. He said he didn't lift up his head till the aircraft landed. The guy was devouring. Finish this, drop it. Finish this, drop it. Finish this, drop it. Then why won't he pastor one of the largest churches in the world? And it's ever growing. Go to Lagos and go and see spiritual dwarfs. Small, small churches. Small, small churches. Man must work assemblies. Somebody say, Jay, Jay, hey, oh, oh. He's preaching. No information put across. Oh, come on there. Wow. The one frustrated girl for British. Yeah. The guy is tired. She's even tired herself. Just for just sleep there. As she's under the power, let them round up this service. The usher will come and carry her hat. <laughs> Pepe Sellers assembly. One man came. 
He said his prophet so so and so alias bulldozer inside church. <laughs> Another one says prophet so so and so alias undertaker. <laughs> when ignorance is enthroned, foolishness begins to dance. And there are members in the alias undertaker's church. He wants to undertake their life. Tell them to say knowledge. Say knowledge. There are some churches once they open Bible, people just sleep. Let the race chorus there. The church was cold. Let the race chorus. The Bible we talk, 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 talk. People need prayer. <laughs> Yet there is a point you can get in understanding. Are you hearing? Your prayer points will become thanksgiving. I didn't hear you, big amen. Yeah. When I tell people I don't have prayer point, they can't believe. What am I praying about? Nothing. How to get money? I've written it in books. So why will I lack money when I know what I've written? I am the, the best fans of my books. Because you can write a book by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit and you may not even know what is inside except you read it yourself. Yourself and the person you want to marry. Job be gisting. Gist. Job be talking. There are so many things to discuss. The, the relationship is exciting. There's something. You go to the beach. So much to discuss. Four hours look like 30 minutes. Nothing between two of you. Come on, sit down by last. Come on, sit down by last. last. Somebody's coming. Say, please sit down. Sir. <laughs> what life is two of you living? Somebody's coming. Don't Then your, clothes, your skirt is still up. Say, How old are you, 42? <laughs> Look at two of you. Because of ignoramus. Look at two of you have been turned into Ibeka. a cool guy. Those children that carry snake, they now use red flag to stop car for them. <laughs> then in the night, two of you, man of God, he say, After service, say go and wait for me. Where are you now? I'm behind the tree. <laughs> he said, which tree? He said, the tall one. <laughs> when the head is empty, eh, your body will become like animal. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you. It is your mind that controls your emotion. It is your mind that controls your body. So when the mind is not engaged, the body is out of control. It has happened to me. So I'm not teaching you anything. It's a story, story. When your brain is not engaged, your body will be out of control. Look at verse 9. Of Psalm 119. It says, Where which shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed, dear, dear to, according to thy word. Can you see that? With my whole heart have I sought thee, Oh, let me not wander from thy commandment. You see that? Where which shall a, a young man overcome immorality, which is a natural temptation to every young person. It is not demonic. It's a natural temptation. He said, where which shall a young man handle it? Yes, I showed you. Daniel said, I understood by books. Your wife is reading a book. You are reading a book. Something interesting props up from one of the books. Your wife says, honey, you need to read this book. Let me read it to you. Won't the house be lively? This one is not reading. This one is not reading. The next thing, fornication. 16 children. I'm telling you the truth. You all see the woman shaking his waist. He says, come, 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 come. They start. 16 children. He's a gate man. The wife is selling bole. 16. Obasan John must take care of them. <laughs> the idle mind, have you not heard it? Is the devil's workshop. The idle mind can be the mind of a pastor. The idle mind can be the mind of a choir master. The idle mind can be the mind of an usher. But the idle mind, no matter where the idle mind is, is the devil's workshop. Go, when you come to my office, you see my books by my side. 
all those books that you see there. I read. I read. I read. I read. I came, I discovered the television in where we are staying. They said there were certain things they needed to fix, so the television was not working. But I created my own television book. That place is not boring. It's good. Because I have time to, 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 to devour. When I go to Lagos now, I'm going another man. There were certain things I didn't understand because of the noise in Lagos. I came to Abakeliki to understand it. You can't stay alone. Zaka, 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 zaka. When you grow old, you will stay alone by force. Then only you will be talking like a madman. Not that you will be crazy. So. You have been so used to talking all your life that you cannot keep quiet in old age. And no friend to talk to. Look at the way you are hearing what I'm preaching. Your mind is engaged. Can the devil mess you up now? What I have just done is to engage your mind. So you can engage your mind by yourself in your office, in your house. Where which shall a young man cleanse his ways? Now look at verse 11. That was where I was going to. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. A brother went into how many days fast? Seven days dry fast. He has been falling into fornication, fornication with, with a lot of people. So he was tired. He went into seven days dry that this demon of immorality must die. All his girlfriends didn't see him the first day. They were surprised. They didn't see him the second day, the third day, fourth day, fifth day. By the sixth day, one of them said, let him come and check on this, my Bobby Lose. It was with that one he broke his seven days dry fast. Thy word have I hid. Not fasting. Thy word have I hid. <laughs> Lord, if I commit fornication again, kill me. <laughs> Just give yourself two hours. <laughs> he said, Thy word have I hid. <laughs> Thy word I hid. There is a point you will so saturate your mind that your mind will come under your own control. Very easy. The Bible said, they that wait upon the Lord, they waited. They that wait upon the Lord, shall what? Renew their strength. The strength to live above the flesh. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Their strength to live above mammon shall renew their strength. He said they shall run and not be weary. They shall mount up with wings as they go. They shall run and not be weary. They were weary before. They couldn't mount up with wings before. But knowledge, because they waited. You want a big ministry? Go and develop a big mind. Don't go here. Hey, lay out me. Lay out me. They will lay out for nothing. School of ministry. Oh, these days Christianity. Do you know your value in life? Your value is the value of your mind. Be gate. That is his value. His mind. I'm not calling his name here now. Be gate. I'm calling his mind. I'm not calling a name. You are tired of your new old level. When you develop your mind naturally, you move to the next level. I didn't hear a big amen. amen. Tap your neighbor, say knowledge. knowledge. You did say say knowledge. knowledge. You can so read and so read and read and read that you begin to live in a world created by yourself. No, am I correct? You know you can so write songs, write songs that you forget to eat. Am I correct? You forget to eat. Before you know it, you go and borrow money and buy your own keyboard. Because you want to, you want to score the songs. In your house, you see many keyboards, you look like a madman. Suddenly you'll be cut off from others. Tap a number, say knowledge. knowledge. You did say, say knowledge. knowledge. You did say, say knowledge. knowledge. The governor of a state in Nigeria very successful young man. He had run big businesses of his own and he still has big business of his own. Do you know what he said? He said, I can't fail in government because I will prepare for it. I knew what I was going there to do. Not the person that they begged to come and join. When you are prepared for life, life will surrender to you. You are not prepared yet. And knowledge prepares you. I didn't hear you. Big amen now. Knowledge. Tap the neighbor. Say knowledge. knowledge. 
Tell me, say knowledge. knowledge. Let me say something to you. You see all what we have done this week. On Sunday night, which is the last evening, I am teaching on the power of the Holy Spirit. You are going to see dangerous manifestation of power. But do you know how you are going to keep that power? You are going to keep it by what I am teaching you now. I am building you up for something. Some of you here now, you can no more be poor. Even if you want to be poor, you can no more be poor again. What am I doing? Programming your mind for a new lifestyle. On Sunday evening, you will see power. Power. But how do you sustain that power? That's what I'm concerned about. There is no country I've gone. There is no church I have gone that I have not left a mark. Why? I knew how to approach ministry scientifically. Ministry is no more. People will be struggling to touch you. What is in my body? Am I electricity? Then the man is happy. Holding days, African idolatry. Still in the church. I was close to a very great man of God. He used to fill stadiums. Today that man is stranded in Lagos. But I knew he was going to be stranded. Because I never saw him read anything. I never saw him reading his Bible. We were very close. I, I said this man will not last. And he didn't last. How can he last? Do you know the tanker that carries fuel? Needs fuel itself to be on the road. Knowledge is your fuel that keeps you in ministry and on top jar. Tell me, say knowledge. knowledge. You didn't say it very well. Say knowledge. knowledge. When your father took Goro, you know Goro, Kolana, and came to visit you in your school, all his clothes smelling, his hair like Somalia hair. Why didn't you introduce him to the class? You say, Daddy, what are you looking for? Daddy, what are you looking for? Daddy, please, Daddy, come. what are you looking for? No, introduce him. That this Babiala is your father. If you see the teeth, 18 years, I can we see them. <laughs> the, in, his, in, his, in his time, they don't watch it. It's a taboo. <laughs> say knowledge. knowledge. You didn't say it. Well. Say knowledge. knowledge. When you start reading now, your boyfriend will change. You don't follow that boy again. When you start reading, that guy will change. Just say the, just say the credit. That is the relationship. Send the credit. I want to send this a robotic test message. <laughs> then you send a credit of 1,005. He send you text message of two text message. 15, 15 naira. How much? 13 naira. Uchi <laughs> You say you get sense. <laughs> 419. <laughs> then when you are reading, when you are reading your 13 naira text message, Okay. Oh. Oh. Mm. Ngozi. Mm. Ngozi me o. Eh. 30 naira. 1500 minus 30 naira. <laughs> Good for one night business. In the name of relationship. Shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. When your mind is empty, you can be manipulated. The volume of information that you have in your mind is what you use to analyze situation. It's what you use to judge situation. That's why go to Togo, where Iyadema reigned for 38 years. They are very ignorant set of people. It takes ignorance to oppress a people. The tool of oppression is ignorance. Remove ignorance, people will rise. Do you know, do you know why the white man could not stay in Nigeria? We are too wise. Iran. He said, My people perish for lack of knowledge. Tap your neighbor by the shoulder. Say, Knowledge. You didn't say that. Say, Knowledge. If you see an, un an uneducated girl put lipstick and uh, what do they call it? Eye pencil. Are you hearing? Then you see an educated girl put the same lipstick and eye pencil, you will know the difference. Yes, the uneducated girl, eye, eye pencil may get to this place. <laughs> because say it is pencil. <laughs> when you put the lipstick like this, put the lipstick like this, it's, it's rotting brain. There's nothing inside. He said the thing is not enough. Put more. 
until the, the leaves will do like this. He said, kiss me, say. <laughs> Illiteracy. Very beautiful. But when he speaks English, two bottles scatter. Plus one calabash. And I went there. And I thought to him. <laughs> Mashire, Mashire. Mashire, Mashire. He said, what will I say next? So, Mashire. Illiteracy. Can even disturb prophecy. Oh, go, Mashire. Mashire, go. Oh, go. Everybody is trying to understand what the Lord is trying to say. The illiteracy doesn't allow her to say it. But the Lord spoke to her. But illiteracy cannot communicate it. Mashire. Mashire. They will start crying. Mashire. 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 Let me ask you one question. Why do ter terribly uneducated people, why do they do everything to send their children to school? Because of the pain of their ignorance. You say, my children must go to school. If I went to school, I know I would be. You say, but you have money. You say, it is no money. I know what I'm talking about. Tap your neighbor. Say, knowledge. knowledge. You didn't say that. Say, knowledge. knowledge. You didn't say it very well. Say, knowledge. Let's go to the book of um, Hebrews. If you gather this one, your life will never be the same. Before we go to Hebrews, let's look at the third John. Then we'll look at Hebrews. There's something in third John close to the book of Revelation. Tap, tap your number, say books. Tap your number, say books. I didn't hear you big amen to that. Yeah. I have one of Reverend Chuk's books. That talks about favor. That book is thick. That book is more than one book. Oh. For, for at least three years, I traveled with that book. <laughs> All the people that are selling books, I'm not going to buy any book from there. Any people that are selling books. Somebody are giving all free. Person wants to also buy a book. The person gives all free. Person I also start the law. <laughs> Ignoramus. But as he finished for there, he said, can you give me ice cream? Two, two ice cream. The way we shout hallelujah, I want to clear my throat. <laughs> How much is a tip? <laughs> he said, I've been born again for many years. Though. This is my 15 year of born again. You are a Muslim, you worship Allah very well, you are also born again. You see, anything you are doing, don't do it with the whole of your heart. He's doing evangelism. <laughs> He goes to go and preach to somebody. But he says, a Muslim. He says, we are one. <laughs> then who do you want to convert? Ignorance. A, a man of God went to a church. He was preaching. He was preaching. He was preaching. He said, turn to the book of Nicodemus. Everybody was looking for the book of Nicodemus. <laughs> Every person in the church. Plus the pastor. The pastor and his wife. Have you seen the book? The deacon. Have you seen the book? Book of Nicodemus, chapter 3. Verse 2. <laughs> Tap your neighbor, say knowledge. knowledge. Listen, if you have many wives, eh? you have many wives, when they make you governor, and all the wives are illiterate, who will be first lady? You go and marry another wife. <laughs> the one that went to school. Am I correct? Shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. Look at verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things, it's only one chapter, that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospered. you see that? He said, once your soul is prospering, so your prosperity is tied to the prosperity of your mind. So every time I am looking for money, I read. I didn't hear you, big amen. amen. Look at verse 3. For I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee. Even as thou walkest in the truth. So knowledge puts truth in you. Knowledge puts truth in you. That you will be able to walk in. You can so understand prosperity. That the enemy. Cannot trick you in any way. 
why some givers don't prosper. You can so understand prosperity that the enemy cannot come in any in any form. Tell me, say knowledge. You didn't say it very well. Say knowledge. You didn't say it very well. Say knowledge. 